Ciao ragazzi! Adesso parliamo dell'articolo determinativo e dei plurali. So the definite article, which in English is the, and the plurals, really quickly. So first thing, how do you make a, fl a plural in Italian? So, the three main endings of words in Italian are o, and usually the words end in o, o, are masculine, usually. That's why I gave it a blue background. Then we have words ending a, in which case often the words are feminine. And then we have the neutral one basically, which is e, and this is 50-50, so I made it yellow. So if you have a word ending in o, usually the uh, plural is i, so bambino, bambini. Scuola, feminine word, scuole. Professore, professori. This is how you make the plurals. O becomes I, A becomes E, E becomes I. So, as far as the definite article goes, in Italy we have several of them. In English you have the, and that makes it fairly easy. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated in Italian. So our articles are il, masculine, this is your basic one, lo, which you will use for words that, when they, when it's followed by words that start with z, or s plus consonant, or you have l apostrophe for masculine words that start with a vowel. So the plural, you have e, this is your standard plural, and then lo or l apostrophe, so if you have this or you have a word that starts with a vowel, um, you will have ye. So this in the plural becomes this, or this, and this goes here. So, for example, il libro, i libri, lo studente, l'amico, gli amici, gli studenti. For the feminine, we have la, this is your basic, and then you have l apostrophe. If you have a feminine word, it starts with a vowel. So, la casa, l'amica, the plural, you only have, sorry, wrong box, le is your feminine plural, le case, le amiche. There is no apostrophe in any of the plurals. So, this is the definite article in Italian.